mitochondrial DNA worldwide is incredibly invariant. 84% yeah. of it's the same. There's only a few yeah. DNA differences separating any two people. And so well, that's the average, not the maximum. You have to use the max. Right. And the max is only about 140 in yeah, light of you do a, you do a coalescence analysis. You get that you get. What is it? Like 100 to 200,000 years? No, because that's not based on the observed mutation rate. That would be right. It's good. based on the substitution. Right. But here's the problem right. in your model. You understand that when it comes to an equilibrium point, because you have deep time time scales, you have a per generation mutation rate, let's say 0.1 to 0.5, a neutral mutation rate in the mitochondrial DNA that actually equals your long-term substitution rate. And so it really doesn't help you to look to, to the substitution rate. You still have to deal with the low variation and you have to deal with the, the, the fast mutation rate.